first time I ever saw it was this NSA contest. It was like 1986 or something like that. Oceanside Street Finals. And it, uh, Gator, he had like his family photo underneath clear grip tape. And he took the clear grip off and he's like, this is quality grip tape, making a joke because he was all cocky and lame. And then put it on another board, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, you know, because... I had a Polaroid at that point because I was just a little kid. I had my dad's Polaroid, and I was like, wow, you could have a Polaroid photo and put it under your grip tape and have it on the board. That's so sick. So after that, I always tried to like ask shops or skate parks if they had clear grip and find it. I remember like some of the first boards I had, I didn't really understand like grip tape art because I didn't, you know, my first boards, like when I was, I was like nine or 10 when I started skating. And I didn't understand how to grip a board yet. So my, I would get my board gripped at the skate shop and it would come gripped. And I would carve into it with a knife and pull the pieces off and have like dumb shit like that. I, I kind of always been into at least having something on the top of my board. I've always liked doing collages because I had a really cool art teacher and we did that a lot in school. I like stuff you can take away from it and use like like if there's sky or whatever you can use like at your board is the sky, you know? See, I don't even have any clue like what I'm doing yet. So I just cut out shit that looks cool. Other thing is you can't have like a full sheet because then there's nothing for the clear to stick onto. So you're gonna have this big bubble popping up. You have to have spots where the clear touches the board. I always think about like where I'm gonna put it because one of the other people who kind of I saw do it first was Mike V. He had a double-sided board, like the no, the t he had two tails, you know, the farmyard board. So he put clear grip in the middle, just straight middle. And he there would always be, I don't know if he would write under it or do something. He would do stuff under it, maybe pictures, I don't know. See, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Like, it'd be funny just to cut dumb shit like this out and cut out all of the background and just have your wood stain as a background. There's usually two ways to go about it. Do you lay it, do you put the clear grip on your board sticky side up and lay it down, which you have to think backwards, or do you try and go for it and just stick it like this, which you might ruin the whole thing and the piece of grip. You don't want to space stuff far apart because you got to remember how wide your board is and there's still like room to stick the grip tape on it. I'm trying out the Mob M80 grip tape. Well, didn't do that very good. Kids, try this at home. Thank you.